Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Hey, 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 how you doing? Tell the people what's your name, where you from? <laughs> My name is Katie and I'm from Toledo. Okay, Katie, okay, <laughs> Katie from Toledo, Glass City Cash City in the building. And um, what's, what's your question? Let's talk about it. Well, Rob, I just wanted to thank you for what you're doing with Rob TV and the community. And um, my question was, do you believe that there's a specific amount of time between situationships or relationships and why or why not? Wow. Wow. That's a big thing. I feel like um, people find themselves, they start off in, in situationships and because there isn't a purpose, it never reaches the relationship status. So uh, I appreciate your question. I'm, I'm going to expound upon that. Thank you, Katie. You're welcome. Thank you, Katie. Hey, thank you, thank Katie. You. Hey, it's my pleasure. This is for, like I said, this is for us bias. It's for the people. You feel me? But um, uh -huh. for sure, thank you. All right. So with that being said, we appreciate Katie for coming in and uh, talking about asking that question because that's a real deal holy field you know relationships versus situationships i guess first we gotta define what a um <laughs> what's a situationship versus a relationship you know i feel like for me a relationship we have to be let's be upfront. a relationship is literally relations and it's a ship right so when i have relations with you and it's a ship the ship should be taking us somewhere right it should be taking us somewhere. So in my mind, when I think relationship, I think of intention. And it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be about love. You know, relationships are, relationships have to do with business. My bad, y'all. Somebody calling me. Dang. Relationships have to do with business. They have to do with family. You have a relationship with your doctor. You got a relationship with your Financial advisor, you got a relationship with your teachers, your professors, you know, you have a relationship with everyone around you and we would hope that that relationship is, and there's intention to it, right? Hopefully that relationship is to get you somewhere and hopefully it's mutual, you know, some relationships, hopefully the relationships in your life are mutually beneficial and if, if it is one side, hopefully the other party is getting something out of it, right? But when in terms of love, a relationship is is to be defined, right? A situationship, if you ask me, a situationship is just something that happens. You know, you might meet somebody, you might like somebody, you might vibe, and that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with getting to know somebody. You know, you need to get to know someone. You need to get to take your time to get to know. You get, need to take your time to figure out what's their mental health. What's their mental health like, you know? Where are they are, where are they in their journey in life? You know, are they, as far as where they want to be versus where they came from, where are they? Are they working to progress? You know, what are their priorities? What are their principles? And the only way that you can truly get to know that about someone is by spending time with them, whether that's physically, whether that's through the phone. Um, and that's healthy. That's very healthy. You know, I've been in relationships in the past where I jumped the gun. I saw I saw just enough and I, I took it around with it when I realized, you know, I learned that people will give you their best self. They give you their representative. You know, everybody is their best self at the beginning. Most people. I can't I can never say everybody. <laughs> but most people are their best selves at the beginning. So um you know, I think it's important to take the time to really get to know someone. I think the situation ship sets in when you never define terms. Um, me personally, I'm a business oriented person. My mind thinks I'm along the terms of business in all ways. Um, it is what it is. I don't think it's a bad thing, honestly. I was gonna say it's a gift and a curse. No, it's all good. Uh, Cause I've learned to think that way and, and thinking that way when, in terms of risk, reward, assets, liabilities, it keeps me out of trouble. And it keeps me from taking L's, unnecessary L's. So, you know, I think me personally, a relationship starts when there is intention behind the interaction. What's the point of you two coming together? What are you building? You know, it might not be marriage. It might be, okay, it might just be inspiration. It might just be, okay, we maybe we, we don't want to go this far, 
but you know I think we're compatible enough to inspire each, inspire each other enough so that we can go and do this and this you know that's healthy but sometimes you want to go all the way with somebody and you know to open yourself up and be that vulnerable with something with someone it is a huge risk to be that vulnerable so you will hope that if you do make yourself that vulnerable with someone you do it as a means to enrich your life and increase your increase your capacity you know we all have our gifts we all have our journey we all have our talents that we've been blessed with and we've all been put here with the purpose to enrich the world around us to enrich our communities and I mean as we elevate ourselves we're able to touch more people and hopefully that the relationships that you place yourself in foster an environment where you can continue to elevate yourself it, it fosters an environment that energizes you you know an environment that allows you to see where you need to grow and one that supports you as you work on yourself to grow um, versus a situation ship which is just something you're just drifting at the end of the day so if I had to illustrate it I would say you know you have the let's just say it could I'm not gonna say a cruise ship a cruise ship is cool it's nice it's big it's fun but it's temporary so the situation ship could it be a cruise the right person that could, it could be fun it could be the most fun you ever had in your life but it's temporary right it might get you somewhere but how about this what happens when you go out you go to the Bahamas and you go to the Trinidad and you come back to the to the port and you want to go on another trip how many times are you going to go on a trip how many times are you going to go along that same trip you know that's that's the question because that's what a situation ship is I hope that you put yourself in situationships that are fun. <laughs> getting to know someone, I think getting to know someone is cool, it's, it's healthy. But a situationship is something that just keeps going. A relationship is a vessel that's going to take you to where you want to be, you know. And if that's the difference, if you ask me, the stark difference between a relationship and a situationship, right? Do y'all feel me? Let me know if you feel me. Let me see some snaps. Let me see some hearts. I don't know. I just I feel like I just dropped some some bars on y'all. <laughs> but it's really easy. It's really easy. It's really easy to fall into situationships. And that's why in life it's important to be just intentional in general. Intentional about everything you do. Intentional about how you spend your time. Intentional about your thoughts. You know, and it it, it all starts with the thought of mind, the control of thought. Because you know, it starts with thoughts. Thoughts turn into words. Words turn into actions. Actions turn into habits. Habits turn into character, and character turns into destiny. So if you control your thought, if you're intentional with your thoughts, in essence, you can control your destiny. What up, the Shayla? What it do? Mansfield's in the building. Hey, hey, shout out to the Shayla, man. BSU, one of my BSU members back in the day. Columbus, one of my first friends in Columbus. Shout out to the Shayla. I hope all is well with you. Hope you're living your uh, your best life, you and your baby girl, and your other baby as well. I hope y'all living y'all best lives. Happy Mother's Day to you. Um, but I digress. <laughs> I digress. Um, it's important to be intentional about everything, how you spend your time, what you put into your body, the type of relationships you have in your life, the people that you allow yourself to entertain. You know, the moment that you allow yourself to slide or just drift is the moment that you start to slide into hell, quite frankly, because there's plenty of people that have their heaven here on earth, okay? And they have their heaven here on earth because they've been very intentional about creating it. So the moment that you start to drift and you allow people or the world to dictate how you operate, dictate how you feel, dictate how you think, that's the moment you, you end up with a life that you don't want. And that applies to everything, right? So keep that in mind. I could talk about this all day. <laughs> uh-huh. But I won't because I got to keep y'all coming back until next week, right? So we're going to keep it moving. <laughs>